Hello again. Welcome back to Space Engineers. And this time we're looking at my small test base. And we're playing in creative because I want to be able to show you uh, one of the other things that a lot of people have been asking about. And this is how you get your freshly mined rock, your stone, back to your base and into your basic base. You can see here I have a cargo container, a survival kit, a H2O2 generator, a basic refinery and a basic assembler. These are the building blocks that allow you to engineer to your heart's content on a basic level, eventually moving up to advanced assemblers and a bigger, bolder refinery. So, I made some additions since the last tutorial. Conveyor tubes leading to a small landing pad. A landing pad with a connector. And this connector will allow me to transfer rock, stone from my little ship into the base, all the way into that cargo box and then the refiner will automatically pull that stone out and start converting it. So what we have here is a little cargo ship. I could make that into a miner but I'm not going to at the moment. It's a simple little vessel. It has some stone already on board. 9.12k uh, of stone. And all we should have to do is simply bring her down until she locks in place. There we go. As you'll see, the connector turns yellow. Now, I've already put my landing gear and my connector onto the D-pad, just like in the first tutorial. So you'll probably want to do that as well, because uh, you don't really want to be pressing the Y key when you're connected to bases and things. It can cause some problems. Uh, especially on ships where you'll end up disconnecting every single thing connected to a connector. Go into your hangar and find all your fighters in bits and pieces and your hangar venting oxygen to the cold depths of space. So, when you're ready, lock the landing gear. So, you'll see, landing gear are locked. And my box is still full. This is because I have not yet enabled the connector. You see my D-pad, it's ready to lock. By pressing left on the D-pad, it's now locked. Now when we go to look at the cargo container, there is no stone on board anymore. So what's happened here is that the connector has a solid connection, it's green, all the way through to the cargo container. And when you're building, especially in survival mode, you want to pay close attention to this cargo container. You need the big conveyor ports facing the big port on the connector. Otherwise, it simply won't work. A lot of people who've built ships have built their cargo containers with these connectors facing the wrong way. And then they wonder why they're ore and stone won't transfer properly to the base. And that's basically it. You'll see that over here, I have my cargo container. I have some stone in my inventory as well. My stone is not there, that's drill 3 from the earlier tutorial. It's been converted already by the refiner. So it's done. Now, another thing I've seen people ask is how can you unload different kinds of cargo say you want to pull ingots from another base to a main base as it stands this is not going to work I could put stone in and boop, stone's gone stone's pulled straight into the base I can put iron in and nothing happens but you'll see that the basic refinery there was processing the stone but the iron's still there so how do we get around that this is where the magic of sorter blocks comes in good old friendly sorter blocks so you want to go 
across and you want to look at conveyor junctions pressing the right bumper we'll delete that and now we push up on the d-pad until we get the conveyor sorter then we rotate it so that the arrow is facing the way we want the resource to go and that won't work on its own so what we need to do is interact with the control panel by pressing X we can now select the conveyor sorter press right on the d-pad and down on the d-pad and you'll see all these options what you want to do is set your sorter to drain all this is if you want to pull everything that's ever in this cargo box across to your base so now when we go to our cargo in the cargo ship you'll see the ingots have gone and we put the nickel in nickel's gone gravel's gone there it goes silicon gone and you'll see it's all in the small cargo container so now let's pull silicon and iron out so let's say we only want iron to be transferred to the base we want to leave the silicon on board but for some reason not sure why again calm they are sorter remember the rule down we go ah blacklist so what we want to do is we want to press a and press down on the d-pad choose whitelist and then we want to scroll down here and we want to push down on the left stick to get to this menu then we want to press up and down on the d-pad to scroll this menu and what we're looking for is all these things you can see ammo components hand tools ingots ore but we don't just want ore we want a specific kind of ore we want iron ingots with that highlighted push down on the left stick press a and now iron ingots are whitelisted by the conveyor sorter which means when we go back up to the little cargo ship pop open the cargo bay and we put the silicon in silicon's not moving put the iron in oh look iron's gone so that way you can make a sorting system from a central drop-off point if you spend the time with a bunch of sorter blocks all heading to a central system and you can sort everything out into ingots into ores ammunition you name it and that's just one way of doing it hopefully that helps new players uh, i'm still a new player to the xbox version i haven't played space engineers uh, for a while i know it changed on the pc i was there in the beginning uh, on steam in early access when it was just basically a platform in space and you built blocks and the cockpits were very much different there wasn't a fighter cockpit uh, it's come on a long way and um, I adore it I, I love space engineers anyway thank you for watching and have a good one